With Fisk behind bars, what's next? And the city's safer than ever. Maybe Peter Parker can have more to life. Are you in trouble? Do you need money? No, no, I mean, I mean I'm a little behind on my rent, but no, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. Take care of this place. It represents the best part of me. This is Miles. He's gonna be helping out around here. For acts of extraordinary bravery. I'm the one who kept order in this city! What is this? Devil's breath. Your city and everything you care about will be destroyed. The people will beg you for help, but you won't be able to save them. Let's get more backup. City needs our friend more than you think. Yeah. Whew. Anyone else need a breather? Hey, what's happening, Spider Friends? Welcome back to the Spider-Man PS4 Let's Play Live thing, whatever. How's everybody doing today? It's a crazy world in the comic book slash movie industry today. How many of you guys heard about Superman's supposed uh, departure? <laughs> and then his response. <laughs> oh, why are actors such trolls? Uh, also, it was kind of hilarious to see Angry Joe, like, freaking out. <laughs> the man looked like he was going to have a stroke. Oh, gosh. I have no idea what to tell you about the future of the DC Universe. I just don't. It, at, at this point, it's like, where's the popcorn? This is just crazy. <laughs> no, I hate the secret suit. I'm not wearing it. No, I will wear this thing because it's gaudy and awesome. Oh, man. Oh, so hey, how you guys doing today? You having a good day? Hopefully, mostly. Uh, we're continuing the story, so this is spoilers. If you guys uh, are watching my blind walkthrough on Kmwing's Let's Plays, it releases at 7 a.m. and 3 p.m. every day. Um, this is not a blind walkthrough. This is me just hanging out, having fun playing Spider-Man. And I have an announcement. Uh, I have finished not only the script for the Spider-Man review, but I have done the voiceover for my first review in four years for a video game. I've done movie and TV and whatever reviews, but this is my first game review in a long time. And uh, I'll tell you, I'm kind of... I don't know. I I mean, I think it's a good script, but uh, I made some pretty good, good points. Uh, I'm going to try to release it in uh, Friday or Saturday. And who knows, this might be a return of video game reviews if the reception is good. I mean, if, if people like it, I'll go back to doing it. <clears throat> the script went through a couple revisions, but nothing super major. Mostly I added stuff, so I have to... I have to, you know, bring it down quite a bit. But I mean, this will also, the reason why this is kind of important that I, you know, I'm doing a review on this is it's the first time since I've worked on a walkthrough series that I have actually uh, done a review of a game that I'm doing like a serious walkthrough on. So it's kind of like new territory for me because usually I say all my piece with the game during the walkthrough. Um, this is the first time that I've, I've done something different than that. Probably 
more of them inside. You guys stay here. The thing is, because uh, it seemed like a a walkthrough or whatever. Um, or the sorry, the the script. I don't know. I've I borrowed so many different influences over the years that it. I don't know if it feels like my writing or not. Maybe some people will notice some similarities to Honest Trailers, to my Batman, uh, How He Died video. I don't really know how to write reviews anymore. There was a lot more humor in this, but Spider-Man is a very, like, light character, so maybe that's where some of the, the humorous aspect of the script and the puns came from. I don't know. You're hurt. I'm okay. But you gotta find Mr. Standish, fast. Those guys in the masks kidnapped him and forced him up to his place. He lives in the penthouse, top floor. Okay, sit tight. Sell it, huh? So glad you're here. I can't find my car. Look at I parked on this level. Whoops. <laughs> it's not quite the same, but it's still shocking. <laughs> oh, that was good. I enjoyed that. <sighs> no guns. <laughs> Whoa. Uh oh. Oh, I love the screams in agony. The Arkham guys don't scream. Uh um uh. I kind of... Yep. Man! I need that for my review, because I talk about the game's glitches. There you go, you saw another one. No, the game doesn't get a 10 out of 10, or... It's not perfect. Far from it. It's fun. You have to wait for my review, it's really good. I make some excellent points that explain my, my score system. I would hire me if I, uh had it out there for going to IGN or GameSpot again. I would hire me in a second because it's a great review. I was surprised by it. I thought about putting it up on Patreon so you guys could you know, if you wanted to listen to it or something before like all the shiny gloss and cool clips and stuff happen, but I don't know. I don't know if I want to do that. There are some like YouTubers that do that. They put up the uh, not finalized form and like a behind the scenes thing and charge like a dollar or something to access it. I don't know. Right now it's like it's unpolished. Uh I need to cut it down. It's like 40 minutes. It's not how long it's going to be. There was a lot of flubs in the way that I pronounce things and uh <laughs> the guy's staggering. Oh, it's funny. Wee! Love that move. Ground floor. Wait, you guys work here too? This building is <laughs> Boom. Bye bye. Yeah, what he said. Well, bam. Wee. Boom, baby. Good fight. A for effort. I know that's great. Uh, the elevator won't work. They know I'm here. But maybe I can sneak up through the elevator shaft. Da, 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 da. Should be able to make it up to the penthouse from here. Now, Amber, Amber read my review, and I, I actually read it out to her before I, like, uh, laid down the uh, audio work for it, and she said, my review was 
Tough but fair. <laughs> she really liked it. She laughed a lot. Um, she enjoyed the jokes. She enjoyed the points. Um, the more I kept uh, looking at it, though, it felt like the style of video that I made for that like viral Arkham video, like this is how the Batman died. It, it it feels more like a video addressing points and stuff than it does like a review. I don't know if I know how to make reviews anymore. I might remove the name review from the actual like voiceover because it doesn't feel like it. it feels like it's a, a highlight of what the game is, what it does well, and you know what it doesn't do well. Doesn't doesn't feel like a straight up review. I, I don't know. Maybe my writing style has just evolved so much because I became like a tips and tricks walkthrough guy instead of like, I don't know. You realize that elevator is killing them, right? Okay, that wouldn't work that way, but whatevs. <laughs> um, I saw one trailer for the Spider-Man game when it was being hyped up. I didn't know who Mr. Negative was. I, I completely forgot, and I avoided spoilers like a plague, other than knowing what costumes would be in the game, and who the big bad was. Actually, no. Not who the big bad was. That information wasn't leaked. Nasty firebombs. Uh, that actually was kept pretty close secret, like the... Well, I'm not going to say who the final boss is, but... It's pretty obvious who the final boss is. Uh, the, I didn't have that spoiled for me, but Amber figured it out in the Let's Play. I knew, but she she figured it out for herself. I mean, it's not hard. Uh, I would say that my video for Spider-Man is kind of spoiler-free. The only thing that I do bring up is you can play as Miles, and that was like a good point to the video, but I don't talk too much about it. I don't even show the final boss in it. I just started to put um, clips together. Take him out for Chinese! Come on. Thank you, bye. There we go. Is that the trap one? Yeah, that's the trap. Ah, oh, I hit the... Ha! I messed up, but they still gave it to me. That's kind of funny. Uh, wow. AI is dumb. That was hilarious, though. Um.
Big, dumb, and ugly. Oh! All right. Huh. Bye. Nap time. Need to clear the room before I talk to Standish. Really? Thought that was it. Ali, Ali, oxen free. Who's left? Oh, that guy. He would go flying through that window. Thank you so much for the uh, four dollar donation. Uh, let me let me see what you got there. Um, it's not really like Spider-Man Arkham. I I don't want to spoil my review because I brought up a very interesting point that I can kind of relate to why a lot of you know why the comp uh why it's sitting at the eighty-seven on Metacritic, like. Just to give you a taste, you, you saw all the stuff that I did right here, right? For the stealth takedowns and how fun it is. Well, you can't really use it in the game because the enemy layout is all about wave base. So when you defeat an enemy in like the, the open world environment or even in the story environment, stealth is kind of useless except for in the story because enemies will spot you after you take everybody out. Even though you remain unseen. So, I mean, it's completely different than Arkham. Arkham, when you... You can use, throughout the game, Predator or Combat. Um, you're not forced into combat. This game forces you into combat. No matter where you are, whether you're hiding or, like, unseen, as soon as the next group comes in, they find you, which is ridiculous. And it can't be patched. It's part of the, the game's engine. That's how they do it. So it makes stealth kind of pointless, but I love stealth. I love stealth games, so, you know, I always do stealth the first wave anyway, because it's just fun. Come on, Mr. Demon. He's not down. Yeah, he is. He's down. Sweet. Oh, where'd he go? Oh, I hit him. I want to break something expensive. Twenty ninety nine is in this game, but I don't have it yet. I have it in one of my save files, not this one though. Shocking! Aww. Hey, look at that! Arkham Shock Gloves! And they're fun! <laughs> I don't know why I like electrocuting bad guys. I'm terrible. It's safe now. What were they after? Just financial records. About Devil's Breath? How do you know about that? Why do they want it? I don't even know what it is. Mr. Osborne's been forced. Yeah, getting hit by the train was funny. He keeps the whole project a secret. I'm the only one who has any record of it. Not anymore. Looks like they copied some records to a secure server. Payroll information. On a Dr. Isaac Delaney. Who is he? I, I honestly don't know. Down! <laughs> Come on, come on! Wait, the elevator! Why do people never listen? Almost got him! 
It wouldn't be a Spider-Man game without this feature. Although, what I like about this Spider-Man game is they don't overplay this feature. Like, the Amazing games and the Shattered Dimensions and Edge of Time games overplayed this part. Did they make an Arkham game focused on Nightwing? Uh, I'd like a Titans you game, I think. You okay? Yeah, but I didn't get much out of Standish before these Sable guys stepped in and told me to back off. What's the deal? I get the sense all they care about is keeping him quiet. Because he knows about Devil's Breath. Right. Whatever the hell that is. I'm working on that. I think I just got a lead. A lead? You sound like a cop. Don't you mean... Spider Cop. Uh, Yuri? That's fair. Peter, what happened with Standish? He's safe. Okay, good. And the demons? They were looking for a name. You got a pen? Yeah, go. Dr. Isaac Delaney. Okay. Who is he? What's his deal? I was hoping you could tell me. I'm on it. Just give me a few. Oh, and before I forget, you left that tracker from Tombstones at my place. I'll drop it at Dr. Octavius' lab. Let you know what I find on Delaney. No, this is not blind. My walkthrough is blind. Uh, in the description, I have a second channel called K-Wing's Let's Plays that I do with my wife. Uh, it's my main... main job, basically. Um, this channel kind of became my side channel even though it was like the one that started it all um so i mean i know what i'm doing you can tell it's a blind walkthrough on the let's play channel because the gameplay is not very good this is my second time through the game uh where are the demons again oh there they are Shocking! Oh, satisfying! Come on, guys, stay current! <laughs> oh, so good! So satisfying! <laughs> oh, yes! Aww. Uh oh. Oh, I love torturing bad guys. Just, it's so me. Hey, do you have time to check something out for me? No. No, but if you ask nicely. Just got a call about a suspicious oh! box on a rooftop in Hell's Kitchen. I could call it the bomb squad, but if it's just some kid's science project. Yeah, I know. Budget crisis. Yeah. Oh! Uh oh. Projects are so much easier than real life projects. All right, let's try one more. That could have been bad. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. <clears throat> what uh let me let me see your thing. Oh yeah, I understand your point. I'm just glad you're enjoying it. Oh of course, I love games. Also uh who do you think would Who do I think would do the gaming universe first, DC or Marvel? I hope it's DC because of Superman. Um Honestly, uh, Arkham had nods to the DC Universe in, like, City and Night, but 
their last game was in 2015. So Spider-Man, the thing that Marvel does that's different than DC with their games, good or bad, is they do try to establish world building right away. They did it with Ultimate Alliance. Um, they've done it with this Spider-Man game. They had nods in some of the previous Spider-Man games, like I said, whether the games were good or not. Um, Marvel, they just go in, like, full. DC, you know, they put Batman in first, and then they decide what they're going to do later. Um, which, you know... They would have beaten Marvel to the punch, but I guarantee you that we're going to see, like, more Marvel heroes in Spider-Man 2. They've already been established that Daredevil's here... The Avengers Tower is here. All that's missing is the Baxter building, you know? Doctor Strange, his house is here. Wakanda's here. So they've already done world building, just like Arkham Knight and Arkham City, but they'll actually do something with it. Whereas, you know, uh, DC is kind of slow with that. Honestly, I'm surprised that they didn't try to connect this game in some capacity to the supposed... I don't know if it was cancelled or not, but Square was originally working on a Marvel, like, Ultimate Alliance reboot. I don't know if it's happening or not still. Uh, but, you know, that would have been an opportunity. See, Marvel... Marvel likes to risk things and hopes for big rewards. DC is too safe. Although sometimes they make crazy things like trying to get the, the guy who uh, played Killmonger in Black Panther to, to play uh, Superman or Zod-El or whatever he's called. I don't know. And then Henry Cavill. Did you guys see Henry's Twitter today? Talk about weird. Um, yeah, I can do this. It's part of the story. Um, <clears throat> do I think that there will be another Batman game shown at E3 in 2019? I have my doubts. Um, maybe at the end of the year at the Spike TV Awards, they will drop some type of hint or Electronic Gaming, Gaming Monthly will get an exclusive like they did with Arkham Origins. It all depends. It really does. This is the bomb one, isn't it? Yeah, it is. This is the bomb one. Actually, let me see what my skills are, because I'm going to need to go fast. Um, hmm. What's this? That's air combat. Yep, I need that. And this. I do like the spider kick from far away. What is this? I don't really like the surprise attack. Um, kind of could use that. Could use that's like staying up in the air. Spider kick from long, far away. I like that move. All right, so I pretty much have all the web swing stuff. Okay. I'm gonna need it. We are in order of peace, tranquility, and balance. <laughs> balance this. <laughs> oh, I'm ruthless.
Good thing I already have a costume. Oh, we get to see uh, Greg. So, in case you didn't know, this game takes place in October. I think this game actually takes place over the course of like two months. Aw. Making me well up, May. Uh. What? Spider Man, thank God. Demons have rigged explosives all over the building, but we can't get close. Point me at him, officer. I'm here to help. We've located the primary device. If you can disable it, it'll cough up an army key. You can use that to locate and disable the secondary device. Got it. Keep your men back. I'll radio when it's clear. Oh, please don't be timed. I hate when they time them. Whoops. Uh, bomb number one. Whoops. Mm. You moron! Oh, poor baby. Uh, where did Spidey go? Okay, safe to disarm the primary device. Bomb triggers wired in series. Skip. Oh, come on! And where are the other bombs? The yellow blue points? Great. Wait, no, behind you. Spidey! Spidey, calm down! I love the NYPD in this. Uh, okay, so there we go. Hobgoblin would be cool, but uh, there are no goblins in this universe. Yet. So, I mean, there's a lot they could play around with. I agree, he should be voiced by Mark Hamill, if that's the case. Halloween party. Oh, you can change here, cool. Um... Which 
that's a fun, fun color. Uh, kind of like. Nah, too dark. That looks very cosplay worthy. Alright, so this game takes place at Halloween. Well, this part of the game does. No dance button, though. <laughs> Electro's really into it. Up, Greg. <laughs> All right. So the fun thing to do is uh, selfie. What's up, Greg? There we go. Ah. Uh. Okay. Excuse me, are you Dr. Delaney? Ah, oh, Spider-Man, my nemesis. You won't catch me this time. Yeah, that was Greg. You just saw him do like super. Ah, uh, never mind. Looks okay, I guess. Ugh, got a crack in it. <laughs> Probably just buff that out. Cosplayers. Actually, that looked like spider cosplay. But look at the detail in my costume. Look at that. Look at that. That's not just like a, a bodysuit. Look at look at the detail in that. That's got like Kevlar. Probably some other cool stuff like woven into it. That's just not like a regular spandex suit. Parkour, Spidey! I'm looking for Isaac Delaney. I think he's on the dance floor. There he is. The lizard in the lab coat. Somebody in 
nemesis is? We got a fight. Later. Oh, what's the matter, Spider Whip? You pray to my mighty horn. Hey, hey, who? What, what are you? Come on. Hey, uh, fight. Uh, kick fight. his ass, Spider Man. <laughs> this is so weird. Oh, this was such a weird scene. Spider-Man's beating up a college kid. Uh, Mysterio, the lizard, and um, who was the other guy in the Mysterio? All exist in the uh, the Spider-Man universe, but they're not in this game, other than that mention there. So think of them kind of like what Arkham did as like subtle nods and a, you know. Not to say they won't appear in future games, but it's just like kind of a little cameo. Take it easy. Just tell me what you want. This is a joke, right? Those aren't real guns. Back now. Hit him again. Let him go. That's what you get for being stupid. Hey man, it's a gun free zone. What are you doing? <laughs> Moron. Oh whip guy, come on! Keep your head down. Oh my god. Woohoo! I'm not, I'm just shocking the bad guys. Oh, you can use your spider electricity power against that fool. Good! I didn't know that. So there's another way to defeat the web guy. Whip guy. Good. Uh, happy Halloween. Later. Shock gloves defeat whip guy. Write that down. It's another way to beat him. I love mood lighting. Ooh, spooky. Wish you could, like, tap on the grate to, like, you know, get people's attention. That'd be fun. Uh, just so you guys know, there's kind of, like, an M-rated scene coming up. Sort of. Ah, he spotted me. Whoop! And where'd they take the lady? Yeah, dropping stuff on people's heads really does help out, so... Uh, once I discover that in, like, my blind thing, I do it a lot because it does significant more amount of damage than, like, just picking up, say, like, something like that and throwing it at somebody. If you can get, like, an entire thing to fall on them, it takes them out pretty quick. I love how he doesn't see me crawling there. I would cast a shadow. <laughs> but yeah, very violent uh, suicide scene coming up, just so people know. Pretty, pretty graphic for a T-rated game. Name. 
show's over, Lee. Apparently the show's not over. His name, Dr. Morgan Michaels. Okay, coming up. Guy's gonna kill himself. No! Oh, nuts. That's all of them. Gotta find Lee. Um, Ben is not officially left yet, but it's not looking good. Um, John Hammond is, uh, considered for the role right now, from what I know. Kind of looks like Ben. Kind of like a Keaton slash Val Kilmer trade-off. Rhino boss, <laughs> sort of. Made them negative. Oh, that would really hurt. Not nice, Spidey. Yuri, I need your help. I've got reports of shots fired at ESU. Yeah, that's me. I'll explain later. But right now, you need to find a Dr. Morgan Michaels. Martin Lee's coming after him. Copy that. Spider-Man, who is this Dr. Michaels? I think he's the head scientist on this Devil's Breath project. Did you find him? Yes and no. Sable says they have him under protection at a safe house somewhere in the city. But they won't tell me where. I thought you guys were working together. So did I. Okay, I have an idea on how to find him. I'll let you know if it works. Okay, now... I know somebody's going to call in. Uh, <sighs> challenge tokens. Six of them. Eh. Hey, did you find Dr. Delaney? As Dr. Delaney is not in the best of shape. Party? Yeah, but so did Lee. 
hated him and made him kill himself. That's horrible. We have to stop this guy. We will. Before Delaney died, he gave Lee a name. Morgan Michaels. Morgan Michaels. Who is he? Not sure. But I bet he works on the Devil's Breath project. Have you learned anything from that Devil's Breath file? Yeah, get this. A few years ago, Osborne came to Fisk and asked him to build a lab, but to keep it hidden from regulators. A secret lab? For Devil's Breath? If it's as dangerous as we think it is, I can see why. Where's the lab? It's not in the file. Osborne made Fisk destroy all records of it. All I have are invoices from Osborne's personal account to Fisk Construction. Knowing Fisk, he kept the invoices around for blackmail material on the mayor. Everything leads back to Norman Osborne. I guess it's time to pay him a visit. I doubt he's gonna tell you anything. Wasn't planning to ask. Okay. Time for a uh, little bit of world building. All units, civilians are trapped in their... Hmm. Someone's using a drone to drop spy cameras around the district. And it's not the authorities. I better round them up and take out that drone. Oh, that's right. This is ah, these. Hey, look, a version of Superman 64 that actually works. Sort of. Oop. Okay. Whoops. Uh oh. I'm gonna have to do this again because yeah, I'm not very good at these. Good job, Spidey. Not bad. You got skills. I got skills too. And I thought robocalls were obnoxious. Well, I shut down his spy cams. Okay, let's do some more black cat, which is easier to see at night. Um, shouldn't be that many left. Okay. Spider-Man on PS4 is not a very long game. Like, the story is considerably shorter than uh, the Arkham games. Still good, it's just, it's a shorter game. More of the, uh, the heart of the game is in the areas that you're seeing right here, like free-roaming New York City, web-slinging, uh, combat... The only real drawbacks that I can think of for this game is the stealth is useless. Um, some parts of the city and side missions are kind of eh. But overall, it's a very solid game. Felicia's keeping busy, but I'm catching up. Let's see where she hit this time. Okay, so it's always easier to do the cat ones at night because you can see the cat like kind of like twinkle. You can still do these missions during the day, but I like them better at night. Oh, that guy, that was a cell phone. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. There it is. Did you see how, the, like, the, the eyes twinkle? Cornelius Van Lunt's place. She's hitting places full of one-of-a-kind 
valuables. She must be working for someone. Otherwise, why not just steal cash? We do some, just like Arkham, we did some uh, side missions as part of the story. Like, Black Cat was an entire episode um, in our blind thing. We just spent the entire time going after the cat stuff. I think it was actually, we started doing it after the uh, ESU thing. A group of terrorists assassinate American citizens in a bomb. How is it possible that instead of being wiped out of existence, these mass criminals are still at large and still striking at innocent people like Oscorp CFO Charles Standish in their own homes? How? You're on with J. Jonah James. Yeah, uh, my cousin's a corrections officer. This underscores a concern I've had about these defects. They're not regular criminals. They might not even be ordinary terrorists, although they certainly commit terrorist acts. But it looks to me more and more like they're a cult. Are you kidding me? Those kind of people are out of their mind. They'll do anything. It's horrifying, isn't it? Does this mean that we have to live in fear? To be constantly looking over our shoulders? To expect an attack at any moment? My opinion, folks, the answer is yes. All right, so let's go to... Where's the cat? I thought I was just on it. Uh, there it is. So I, I was going the wrong way. My bad. Yeah, that's bit, uh, that's good. I, I'm sorry, but uh, I already helped them out today. I'm doing collectibles right now, so um, I'm rooting for the home team. Though I'm gonna go grab this collectible, and then uh, maybe I'll uh, swing by. Try to keep it down, cause uh, I'm gonna need to, you know, look through a very important uh, little camera. Whoa! Wow, that's far away. I'm sure they'll be fine. What is my favorite Spidey suit in this game? Uh, I like 2099. And I also like Scarlet Spider. And I like the... Busy. Um, I like the classic suit. Scarlet Spider. I like Bulletproof. I like the spider armors, which I don't have yet. I like Velocity. I don't like Secret Wars. I'm not a fan of uh, the Electricity one. He looks like Deadpool, kind of. Um, I'm mixed on the Homecoming suit you get from all the backpacks. I think the Spider Armor is kind of cool, but I like this one better. You know? Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. You're around one of these rooftops. Nope, not that one. Everybody look for the twinkle. If you see the twinkle, you find the cat. And usually it likes to hang out right by doors. I don't think it would be over there.
Look for a picture of Black Cat Face. Black Cat's Face is usually where it is? I always look for the twinkle in the little... the camera. So you're saying she just easily announces where she is. Oh, I don't have the vibration of my controller on. Oh, we'll find her. I'm not worried about it. Well, that rooftop doesn't work because... This one's really hidden well. Usually it's easier to find the cat at night. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Oh, that would have been a good place right there. Come on. So basically, if you get all the, um, I don't know if people know it or not, but you get a suit when you complete all Black Cat stuff. Yeah, I know, I'm doing uh, direct tomorrow. Six in the evening, I believe. Uh, I have to reset that back up. I'm glad everything is okay in Japan. And that, you know, everything worked out well. Nobody got hurt. Like on the Nintendo side of things, as far as I know. Where are you? Are you in a window? Nope, I'm zoomed in as far as I can go. All right, we're going to pan really slow until we can find it. And if you guys see it, uh, let me know. I've got my eyes literally peeled, so... Is it always up on the uh, on the buildings, or is it on the ground too? That looked like broken glass over there. It's in the door on the roof. Which roof? So it's always in a door opening? Can't stay, but uh, good luck. Thank you. Thank you for the donation. You have a great night. Hmm. Always in a door. Okay, so then that... If it's always in a the door, then that means there's only a couple places it could be. 
I've only seen a couple doors on roofs. That's closed. That's closed. That door's closed. Hmm. That door's closed. That's as far as I can go on this side. Street level doors. I thought you guys always said it was on top of a building. Yeah, I don't think I... I don't remember if I did this one or not. Might have to come back to this one. Black Cat. That's her, right? There it is. But if you catch me before I hit my goal, I'll give it all back and go straight. My future's in your hands, Spider. Okay. Now, how many are left? Still a few. Okay, so let's open up more of the map. Let's talk about Halloween, folks. It may be good fun for the kids to dress up as a cowboy or astronaut or ballerina and trick-or-treat, but this trend of grown adults Glorifying the likes of Spider-Man by dressing up as them is, especially in the times we live in, disturbing. What say you, Gino from the Bronx? Yeah, well, I get your point, but my girlfriend got this sexy Spider-Girl costume, and it really spices things up. You know what I'm saying? Huh. I most certainly do that. J. Jonah Jameson is not one to be judgmental, but you, sir, are an extremely disturbed man. Goodbye. Wow. Yeah, I I don't like Black Black Cat's look in this game. She always has like a very different way of looking compared to Catwoman. She stands out. Um she looks like Marvel's Catwoman now, so it's pretty much the same. She doesn't even really have like the white boots or the white accents at all. It's just like an all black cat suit. All she's missing is the ears. Okay, so there's no cat up here. Fort near Sugar Hill. Over. Whoa. I mean, not every costume choice that, you know, is going to be in a video game is going to be up to standards, though. Especially for superhero games. Sometimes they just don't get it. of is all right let's see if there's more kitty cat stuff up here no so I still have more of the map to uncover we'll go over here 
I know, I'm not really doing the story much right now. I just kind of want to get the Black Hat stuff done because I would really like to use... Because I didn't get to do it in the story, like in our um, our Let's Play. I didn't really get to show the, the cool black costume. So I kind of want to get it. Whoop. All right. Man, I'm getting really good at those. Something I can never do with Arkham. All right. There she is. There's one. Do you guys know how many there are in total for the uh, the cat stuff? Like 10 or 20 icons? Whoops! Too far, too far. Kind of like looking like Deadpool, Deadpool man. Felicia's close to her goal. I've got to put an end to this and fast. This area is full of Wall Street guys. Target rich environment. All right, so we're near Oscorp. Hmm. That's a really tall building. Okay, so not over here. It's going to be over on this side. Oh, that was a good guess, but no. Just check this dumpster just in case. I really think they're all up on top of roofs. Roofs. Roofs! Roofs! Rare. Nope, that's too high. Be cool if it was on the ground level for once. Not seeing any spray paint. Seeing some checkpoints. I would have changed things up a little bit and put one of the cats inside like a, a window or something. Okay, so it's not over here. Ah, was ground level. She's obviously familiar with these places. And that gives me an idea how to catch her. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure the situation's under control. Whoop. Yeah, doing the towers gives you experience as well, so... And people are like, how did you get tons of skill points and stuff? It's like, free roaming... You can get close to level 40 just by free roaming, like, once you get to a certain part of the story. Like, you can get Spider-Man pretty high up there. Actually... Did we... No, we still haven't unlocked the rest of the costumes yet. Soon, though. Soon. Soon. Oh, I don't have any suit mods here? I thought I did. Well, that explains why I'm not getting as much experience. Um... This gives me experience... Uh, increases damage with your, increases damage when your health is 100%. No, that's not me. Perfect dodge. Reduce melee damage. And what is this one? Enemies take longer to defeat. Uh, 
web attacks generate. There we go. That's good. Okay. Not seeing any black cat stuff here, so we've done a good number of them. There's one here. Nothing here. One there. One there. Yeah, we might actually get the suit. Maybe. That'd be kind of cool. Be really cool, actually. Okay, let's check this area next. I'll swing back. I love when they put Central Park in games. Okay. Fix another radio tower. There we go. Nope. No cat woman here. I mean, cat. Black cat. Yeah, I'm not in Central Park anymore. Folks, you've no doubt heard about the riot at Empire State University. But this is not your usual toxic mix of underage drinking, entitled millennials, and hormones run rampant. Authorities are keeping a tight lid on the situation, but my sources tell me the demons drug the students, turning them into deadly rage machines. What has become of our fair city, ladies and gentlemen, when we have to fear our own children, our neighbors, our husbands and wives? Be vigilant. Be on guard. And keep a close eye on that barista with the man bun making your skinny latte. <laughs> what the world? Jonah, you're nuts. I love you. Oh. Uh. Or you could be next. <laughs> Without Jonah, this would be a totally different Spider-Man experience. He just adds a some a little something something, you know? Just adds some much needed pizzazz. Oh boy. Almost there. Might get something about Spider Cop again soon, people. Oh, not this again. Thank you. Sometimes the towers don't work. Okay, so we're an hour and 19 minutes. I think that's all of them. I'm not seeing any black cat here. I thought Yuri calls when you get everything. I guess not. And that's that. Every crime tower in the city is now repaired. Pretty good work, right? Pretty good, yeah. Good enough.
enough that maybe you'd let a certain someone celebrate with us? <sighs> Fine, but make it quick. The odds were long, the danger close. But between Spider Cop's reckless intuition and the Chief's determined planning, they got the job done. Aw, that's kind of sweet. A pairing of opposites, like peanut butter and chocolate, <laughs> or breakfast for dinner. The two work together. And we're done. Talk to you later, Spider Cop. She's coming around, right? Yeah, definitely. Oh. <laughs> uh. Fast travel? I'm almost there. Wait, no, I'm not. Ah, eh, fine, I'm fast travel. Wait. Fast travel is hilarious. Eyebrow guy! Okay, the cat is right there. Boom, 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 boom. Alicia's leading me on a chase, but that's what's going to help me find her. By feeding all the past locations into an algorithm, I can narrow down her likely point of origin. She drew on the wall here. She's messing with me. Nope, that's not it. Oh, this really feels like New York, especially at night. Too late to stop her here, but one or two more locations should give me enough data to pinpoint her hideout. Okay. Where's the fast travel point over here? Right there. I thought somebody was going to call. Uh... <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh... You're going to find Zod? So, I think my favorite time to play this game is at night, though. In the city that never sleeps. I'm still amazed how bright Times Square gets, like, at night. It's almost like daylight. Like, one of my least favorite places to, when I have to go to a press event and they have me stay in Times Square, it's, like, so hard to sleep because it's so bright. It's like you're right next to the surface of the sun. <laughs> 
demons committed another heinous act of terrorism when they took a tour bus and all of its occupants hostage. We have one of those occupants here with us now. A Mrs. Edna Packer of Edina, Minnesota. What happened, ma'am? Well, these horrible men in masks came on board with guns and held us all hostage. I thought I'd never see my kids again. And then the police saved us, and, and Spider-Man, of course. He was so brave. Mrs. Packer, I'm so glad you're safe. And also, that I can enlighten you about Spider-Man. You're from out of town, so you don't know what a menace he is. But he saved me and my husband. But look at the big picture. Do you have these kind of crimes in a diner? Oh, certainly not. And do you have Spider-Man in a diner? Uh, no. And that... Is not a coincidence. You're welcome, Mrs. Packer. I consider explaining these things a public service. <laughs> JJ. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, Jay. You are a delight, sir. Never change. She's just close to her goal. And I've still got way too big an area to search. Gotta narrow it down. Every data point helps. Who she robbed, where they live. I'm pretty sure we did the last of the ground level ones. But... Some pinky lives here. Stealing from a country singer. She's getting creative. But I'm getting closer. One more ought to do it. Um, I like uh Yuri and Peter, but she's like way older than him. I mean Yuri Yuri is the most likable girl in this game. I did like some aspects of Spidey and Mary Jane's relationship, but it was kind of like watching a Korean dramedy. Like, there's a lot of tension between them, and they're really not supposed to have that much tension. I mean, but again, it was Dan Slott that wrote this, so yeah. There's that. Fast travel! Overall thoughts about the story? It's predictable, but fun. Like, this is my second time through the game, so... Hey, it's Eyebrow Guy again! Gotta love Eyebrow Guy. Oh! So that's why they have some uh, playful banter. That's very sweet. I did not know that. Thank you for sharing that. Yeah, I notice a lot of chemistry between those characters. I guess it's because they're married. That is adorable. Whoop! What, sweetie? Uh, Spider-Man is married to Yuri in real life. Captain Yuri. Spider-Man, the voice actor, he's married to the actress who plays Yuri, the 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 person that doesn't like Spider Cop. One more it's cute. Should give me the data I need to find Black Cat. On my rough estimate, she's got about 49 million in loot. I reach her before she gets to 50, and she might go straight. Another cat. Oh man, that's the gallery where they keep the Jade Tiger. That's worth a cool million. I've got to run my algorithm and find Felicia quick. Ooh. Found her hideout. Got to get there before she leaves town. All right, where are you hiding, Felicia? Is that her hideout? Nope, that's the main mission. That's a side mission. 
That's also a side mission. That's a side mission. That's Tombstone, another side mission. There it is. That's her. Okay. Hey, we don't need you here right now, right? All right, so this is the direction where Black Cat is. Wish you could. Oh, you can add a marker. Yes, that makes it easier. Let's see. If I'm gonna see Felicia again, I need to. Uh, I want some nostalgia. Whoops. There we go. data on the Magia crime families. Is she trying to blackmail them? Maybe. What's this? Spider, you raced here to redeem me, didn't you? You're adorable. And cute, too. Which is why I made you something more flattering. If you've got it, flaunt it. Yes. Could it just been a game, could it? Uh, nope. She definitely stole stuff, Pete. Spider-Man, the black cat just robbed the police department's evidence lockup. What? How? That place is like Fort Knox. All those cats you found? When they were all together in the evidence room, they linked up, boosted their signal, and deactivated the alarms. No one even saw her sneak in. She knew I'd find the cats and report them to you. She played me again. What'd she take? Just her old costume and gear. She let me find 50 million worth of loot just so she could get her stuff back. Which means she's got something even bigger planned. Wow. Gotta give her credit. She played you good. Are you smiling? You sound like you're smiling. I gotta go. Haha! <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Fisk reported this stolen a few years back. Savvy listeners don't need me to tell you that the demon's cult, gang, terrorist organization, all the above apply, is out of control. We have a survivor of one of their brazen attacks on the line. Go ahead. I was home, in my building, when we got word there were demons on the roof planting bombs. We had to evacuate, but we also heard there were snipers waiting to pick us off if we tried to leave. Despicable. Fortunately... The police and the bomb squad handled the situation. And Spider-Man, he... Jared, cut the call! <laughs> Sorry. Hard to hear when we're talking over each other. Clearly someone traumatized by a terrifying experience. <laughs> For resources to help with PTSD, go to our website. Another public service from J. Jonah Jameson. Wow, JJ's losing it. That's great. Wine from a Magia Vineyard. Okay, so that's Wilson Fisk's wife. Was his wife. Whoops.
Yeah, that suit is really cool. I did not have that. Man, she played you. Get her back in the DLC, October 23rd. Wow. First time I caught Felicia, she was trying to steal this. Looks like she finally went back to finish the job. There's all the little cats. What? Oh, look. Cats dancing with the little spider. Also imprisoning him in a jar against his will. Cute. Very cute. <laughs> That's so good. Uh, that's really funny. Is there anything else in here? No, well, she had a couch where she was laying low. Um, nothing else here. Okay. Oh yeah, the the tombstone side boss. I didn't do uh that. I mean, I could always record it and add it as part of the thing, but Man, this is a cool suit. I'm glad you guys uh told me about it. Pretty rad. It's kind of far away. Oh. No, it's not. I'll set my earpiece to focus on muffled voices. No fall damage! <laughs> hmm. Trying to find a kidnap person. You know, one thing that is definitely different than the trailers is they said that, you know, people interact with you and stuff. They really don't. Like, there's a select few people in the entire scope of New York City that actually will come up and high-five you or ask for your picture or something. Everybody else just ignores you like they're in their own little world. Also, all the people that get kidnapped in this game are all men. Just something to take notice of. Yeah, I'm like your hero. That's fine. Is this the... Oh, yes, it is. Oh, <laughs> Oh, that works so well with the suit. Yeah, it does. You don't see shock to see me, guys. Oh! Now you see me, now you don't. All right, you want to block? Cool. Bye-bye. Yep, all the men get kidnapped in this game. Because if you had a woman get kidnapped, like, you would have all the feminists up in, like, an upheaval. So it's it's only equal if men get kidnapped. Uh, I don't even think you help a lot of women in this game, if I'm really thinking about it. Like, most of the side quests are all dudes. You got the pigeon guy. Uh, you've got one girl, but she's, like, an executive or something. Like, there's no simple, hey, somebody stole my purse, catch them. Just something to notice. But I mean, it's nice to save anybody, whether it's mostly men. Uh, because in the Batman games, there's really nothing to do. 
Except, like, maybe once in a while. Like, in Arkham City, you got to save uh, a couple people from the Riddler's death traps or whatever, but... Whee! Yeah, I don't want to progress the story right now. Alright, let's see what we have left to do. Whoa. That's a lot. That's a lot, a lot, a lot. Alright, let's end the stream with uh, a base. Oop. Yeah, I want to go to the base, but I want to do fast travel to the base. Nope, that's not it. There we go. Oh, the pigeon guy is voiced by the same guy who did Lucius Fox in the in Arkham Knight and the Telltale game. Whoa, that's freaky looking. See, that is a cool Spider-Man suit. I need a minute. Yeah, see, that's that's a uh, that's another woman, but you know. Uh, let's go with base. To a car oh yeah, I like these. Don't worry, trap civilians. Hang on. Whoops. Man, that is a cool costume, except he looks like Black Widow. Alright, there's another person to help. Hold on! Whoops, sorry, sorry, that was... Oh, I could break that, come on. Uh... And this is kind of a, a nice, uh, cool thing about um, the free roaming too. The free roaming it it handles the um, the side missions a lot better. They're not as boring. There's like these little little additions here. Like there was a hit and run guy, and he caused this accident. And he's out there hiding. Go get him. Or you know, you did a bus thing, and then something else happens. Ah, he got away. Boo. Less experience for me, sadness. All right. Base time, kitties. Whoa. Da, 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 da. Hey, Shadow. When the Black Cat DLC comes out, use this costume. Okay. I will be sure to. Yuri, this construction site's about as legit as the watches they sell in Times Square. I don't have evidence for a warrant. You go in, you're on your own. What else is new? Yeah, they take all the fun out of stealth because there's no reward for it. It's kind of sad. But it's still fun. Alright, so there's another sniper. Where? Ah, oh, great. Real stealthy, Spidey.
Para, 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 para. A little random trivia for you. Did you know that the guy who did the uh, Spider-Man soundtrack is also a Batman composer? He did a Batman movie, which actually wasn't a bad movie, and I like the Batman theme he created for uh, Batman v uh, Batman Superman Apocalypse, starring Kevin Conroy and Tim Daly. So if you're wondering why sometimes Spider-Man sounds like Batman, there you go. I would know. I have every Batman soundtrack known to man. Hmm. Oops. Ah, wrong button. Like I said, it doesn't really matter about stealth anyway because there's wave after wave of bad guy. So... Just, it's kind of like a fun little thing you can do. But this is more fun! Yeah, see what I mean? It's all wave-based, so even if I defeated all these guys, like, without being seen, it doesn't matter because the next wave already knows so it removes the whole like stake of uh you know you and whatever <laughs> what what shadow ah that's on you Missile boy. <clears throat> You're gonna have a bad day. I'm having a terrible day. Thank you for asking. You bad missile launcher. Really? More guys? I don't have this many friends. Eat this. No thanks. Next wave. Did I? I don't remember asking for it. AI is dumb. But um reinforcements again? This is only acceptable if you're all showing up in clown cars. That's sweet. Uh, 
Yeah, yeah. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you do that. Yuri. So I'm still bad at this game, huh? Oh, that was fun. Ah. Oh. Yeah, no, you won't see that kind of stuff in my walkthrough, sorry. Nope. I was in a rush to get it done, so. But my live streams are fun. Alright, so, uh, anyway, peeps, that is gonna do that. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch. We got the Black Cat Spider-Man suit. And, uh, did a little bit of the story, more story tomorrow, and I have a, uh, another live stream for, uh, Nintendo Direct tomorrow at 6pm on my other channel, if you want to check that out. And, uh, we'll be continuing more of the story, getting a little bit further, uh, tomorrow. Uh, no, I'm, I'm not half right, I'm, I'm correct about the stealth. She was a thief! Big shock, right? Well, I hear she's back. And let me make a prediction. Spider-Man's going to give her a second chance. Is it because he's naive? A thief himself? Or is he just thinking with his web shooters? Spider-Man, I know you're listening, so let me issue a warning now. As the old saying goes, lie down with cats, get up with fleas. What's that? <laughs> my intern is yammering in my ear again. It's dogs? I thought it was cats. It doesn't matter. The metaphor still applies. The metaphor still applies. Go away, Jared. Oh, that's so great. Uh, yeah. So, uh, just uh, my closing statement. The stealth in this game, it has no stakes. It is unnecessary because waves of enemies. Outside of the story mode, there are some places where you can have a lot of fun using the stealth takedowns and the impact webbing and all that other stuff because... Um, you can actually progress that area of the map, but when you're going to bases where you have to, like, kind of, like, do Predator, you can do Predator in the beginning, but no matter where you are on the map, in the area where the bad guys are, they will see you when they come in, which makes no sense, and it's completely the opposite of Arkham, so in that respect, the stealth is flawed. It's even flawed compared to, like, um, spy games like Splinter Cell and Metal Gear and stuff like that. As long as you remain unseen, you should still be able to do stealth. I still think it's a great game, but this is a serious flaw uh, in their combat mechanics. But anyway, people, you have a great night. Thank you so much for watching, and I will be back tomorrow with a lot more of the story. So, have a great night. See yas!